going on you bunch of nerds welcome back to another top flight video I know you ain't even got to say anything it's been a long time been busy uh, rebuilding servers uh, the main server I had some time ago I reduced it rebuilt it rather and reduced it um, basically I come to the realization that I don't have enough time to do YouTube and run fully custom modded servers where there's a lot of custom files and keep up with daisy patches mod patches real life job it's it was just too much so what I did I changed the way my servers are designed in order to keep up with them and to keep up with YouTube because I can't keep up with it right now and I want to keep this as a priority basically the way the servers are built now is um, the map is completely vanilla um, the modded items are on the trader and uh, the only thing on the files is buildings like this in the treehouse at the bottom of the types file. So I can just, on DayZ patches, all I gotta do is add it. I don't have to integrate or anything like that. Um, and two other files. One related to weather, I'll explain in a bit about the other maps. And one to stamina. So three file changes and the servers are back up. Less issues, less time because um, I want to be able to make a video once a week and I just simply can't do it with heavy custom servers not enough time if I was retired yes anyhow I'm rambling on let me show you what we got here now most of you guys have already seen the treehouse but in any case this is of course carried over to this uh, to the servers because it's my favorite so some of the much stuff packed furniture. This is new, the Royal Guns. Um, they're still vanilla, but with a lot of colors. I didn't spawn all of them, but there's some of them. They are sexy. Oh my gosh, they're sexy. In any case, um, and there is another modded furniture that I'm waiting for them to patch up for about a month that I'll be adding. It's basically vanilla furniture but with slots so it integrates nicely into the theme and of course I still have ordered up windows and doors you already know what that is four door military locker let's go down here so I carried over tree houses to this server um, this one I added. These aren't the greatest looking, but they're called a mobile base, MA mobile base. I did show a video on it. Um, you're welcome to watch it if you want more in depth of how to build it and all that. They're very easy to get going. All you need to do is find tarp, add some planks and nails and a hammer and voila. Um, I just threw some items in here so you could see what it stores. Again, I'm not going to go in depth. i uh, have another video for that. I'm just showing what's on the server. Most important part is over here. <laughs> and the underground base. I have a video on that already. So that's the three base options. Again, not using base building plus because it's a lot of file work and a lot of lag for the server. And I like to fit the theme and these all fit the theme nicely. Um, by the way, flagpole, I'm using the instant one now. All you need is rope and stick and voila. It comes with a flag. It actually comes with a daisy flag, just so you know. Alright. So for the longest time I've been looking for clothing that was civilian gear but had decent slots. So, not everyone has to run around 
like this, G.I. Joe, this is MMG, I still have it as the highest tier gear, it's the most expensive on the trader, and still look different, and this mod does it. Now I would say one, two, let's see, up to about right here, just these four are the lowest slots, I'll show you. So there's Rick from Walking Dead, of course. You can see he's only 25. I got backpacks on there. I don't mind those. I'll show those in a minute. And 36. Still not that bad. And then Michonne. She's 25 on her vest. Uh, 36 on her trousers. These are the lowest slot, guys. The rocker. 25 pants 42 and I think it stops here I think well I've got this one on 30 and 30 he's the lowest doesn't really fit the theme yes it is watchdogs but only the hat represents it um, I should have took the hat off the trader but whatever otherwise you can't really tell it's watchdog it's just a nice trench coat you know so this is where it starts to go up. Wild jacket 42. Wild pants 42. Yeah, see what I mean? Hoodie 25, that one's kind of low. Shabby jeans 42. Let's go over here. Berserker 36 and 42 love his mask and by the way with this mod the hood will automatically go up or down based on like if you put a hat on so when this is on your character the hood would actually be up with a mask since you put a hat on the hood goes down pretty neat I'll give you a close-up of these guys and you can see I've got some drippy shoes on some of them them boots don't really match. I didn't try to match her guy. I was just trying to show up the shoes. For you old folks like me, vans. <laughs> um, I only have some of the drippy shoes on the trader. They're about to all get added and a glass case to show them off. I'm going to add that throughout the week this week. For now, I just kind of got the gray boots and two types of boots. You can see... There's the sport shoes. Some regular white shoes. You can see these got vest that comes with a pouch. Machete slot. That's the backpack. Now this is his military gear. Again, I don't have it all set up. Look at the pouches this thing takes. It's ridiculous. <laughs> that's the backpack the belts won't show up <sighs> okay on these mannequins these mannequins may go on the trader I'm actually testing to see if they stay here even though it's not going to show the belts which I'm not happy but these mannequins take multiple types of mods anyone any server owners know of a mannequin that shows the belts and takes multiple mod clothing please let me know because what I'm going to do is at the trader if these stay and the clothes don't disappear and all that good stuff then I'm gonna make a glass case so people can't come up and just take the clothes off and have them show off the clothing so people can see before they buy which is a great idea you can't really tell on the trader. <laughs> you all know that. Now, he's got multiple colors, obviously. There's, you know, you can put night vision on there. All like the MMG. This is the other type of military gear. Okay. And, of course, MMG. I'll show you the backpacks. I don't think I got them all, but multiple colors again. So your travel 
81 slots. Freaking OP. <laughs> um, Ellie backpack. Let's see, is it going to show? Where is it at? Let me get back here. Oh, well, it is the Ellie by the class names. You know what Ellie is, obviously. Last of Us. Only 42 slots, but weapon slot, sheath for, I believe it is a knife. Oh, machete, I think. Hatchet. I have no idea what the map bag is. I have not figured that out yet. Cannot find it in a mod. And a basic water bottle. I like this one. Camping backpack. 72 slots. Look at all the stuff it holds. These backpacks remind me of Splurges, which I'll show you in a bit if you're not familiar with Splurge. It's really good stuff. Urban backpack, now it's 64, but these slots add, I believe it's 8 and 10 or 6 and 8, something like that. Either way, you can still add. Here's the most important part, because we only have two slots here, which you're going to put your melee weapon, you get one gun. Yay! I'd like to run with a sniper gun and assault rifle at least, and then my pistol. So that's where this comes in handy. Alright. Oh, real quick. Notice extra slots for this clothing mod also. Earrings. Yes, guys, they have some manly ones. Okay. Um, a cape. Capes are okay, nothing special. Scarf is cool. Watch is fine. There's nothing wrong with it, but we already have a watch mod that goes in here and it actually shows time bottom right hand side of the screen. And the rings are actually real cool. They actually show up. <laughs> and another backpack. Only 56 slots. Fits a sword. There's swords and machetes in this, and they are deadly against the zombies, by the way. This is for another bag. Or no. You can put a holder for a water bottle. Canteen, rather. Sheath for more weapons. This is a complete suit that matches. You see that I even actually threw the sword in the sheath on this one. It's not fully kitted, it still can hold more. A leather backpack, 72 slots, no attachments. Typically, it easily gives you more slots if it has no attachments. I like this one. It's kind of a sling backpack. Pretty nice. Machete, multiple weapons. This is their military backpack, which all looks familiar. Plenty of slots. A big pouch. Canteen or med pouch. Don't know what it is. Compass. Pen. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Lock pick. Can opener. And... What backpack is this? Oh, yeah, my favorite one. This is the Splurge's backpack. This is the camel one. Two weapon slots. Nice. <laughs> and a buck pack goes on it. Just like your Smursh, Smursh vest. Good stuff. This is what I really wanted for the servers. Some unique looking gear, but with slots. They're mostly high insulation. So they work good on winter maps, and if you're running normal temps, um, they're good on normal temp maps. I actually set Summer Chernois, one of the maps I have, to where um, it can handle this clothing. So the clothing's versatile. I prefer to just have the high insulation. That way it works for winter no matter what. You can always adjust for the summer. And uh, config gameplay. Alright, so that takes care of that. 
I want to show you something though. Let's see if I can find it. Um, belt. I forgot to bring it out and I apologize. Yeah, the military belts. These are all the belts I didn't get to show you, by the way, so you can see them. Okay, here we go. Alright, let's put this in our inventory. We're going to go up here. This is one of the best things I like. You guys might not care for it, but I think you will. Grab this sweet looking M4. Alright. Now, so you take this. It doesn't, I tried to put two in, it doesn't let you. It only lets you put it in the left slot. Now, notice this. Okay. You have to take it off to get it to register, but, okay, it's just a weapon sling. Now, if you try to move it over, it's not going to let you. It's okay. Back right, which that'd be fine with a backpack. Slung in the front. Um, for this large of a gun, no, but like a shotgun perfect. That's what I'm actually doing on my playable right now. And down the side. I think that's neat as all get out. But, you know, I'm a nerd. What do you expect? The only thing I did notice with this mod is it messes with the right slot. See how the gun is? It doesn't mess with the left slot, but it messes with the right slot. But I'm okay with that. I don't mind it at all. I'll take it. Because the sling's really nice. And on some of these backpacks, like, let's see. I think it's. I don't know about this one. I don't know if it's here. Oh, this one. The weapon actually goes down, goes sideways. Different look. I don't know about you, but I'm tired of looking at the same old Daisy stuff. We've been looking at this stuff, guys, since 2013. <laughs> Alright. Other than that, I'm not going to go over all the mods. So, how the servers are built. Alright. So, we have four servers. Winter Trinoas. Winter Livonia. Summer Chinoas and Autumn Livonia. Um, okay, so the winter maps, I set the temps where you're in light blue, not dark blue where you're losing health, not Namask, or however you pronounce it, not hardcore. Enough where you eat and drink more, so it adds to survival where you have to hunt sometimes to survive, since the loot is vanilla. Uh, the summer map, you're in the yellow, like if you're in a vehicle or running, when you're standing typically in the white. This is with full MMG gear, okay? Or any of this gear, because a lot of this is high, high insulation or, or just above. Okay, and as I said before, the whole map is vanilla. It's all vanilla loot. All the modded items are on the trader. That is the opposite of the way I like to build servers. I prefer to put the modded loot out where you got to find it. You make money by hunting and fishing. We have a fishing mod, so it's less issue. And you sell your hide. And if you find certain guns like M4s, um, you can sell them for a high price. Rare guns sell for a high price, not standard guns. As I said, I don't agree with that layout. It's not, not my typical layout of a server, but what I do agree with is I have to cut my t time down 
on running servers so I can bring more content like this to you guys every week I need to make a video every week for you guys and the way I've got the servers built right now even though it's four I can have each server up in 15 to 20 minutes when DayZ patches that last patch that was a nightmare I had all custom files it just became a wreck and time I don't I can do it it's the time anytime you do file work it takes time all you server owners understand um, <clears throat> so in any case so if a guy wants to come play vanilla he can just never touch the trader you can play vanilla if not, then, well, you can go shopping at Walmart at the Trader. And so I know. <laughs> I don't agree with it. But, again, i got to cut down my time. That's what's important. YouTube's got to become more important than the servers. And it hasn't been for months. And it's going to be. Alright, guys. Well, listen. I'm rambling on. Hit the, hit the like button, please. Make a comment. Um, likes and comments help the video get shown to more people. I'm at 730 subscribers, I think. All I need 270 more. I'll be monetized. No, I'm not going to get rich. I'm just hoping to make enough to pay for the four servers I'm running. <laughs> so, hit that like. Subscribe. Throw a comment down. Just tell me I'm a nerd, like I call you guys nerds all the time, because you are nerds. I appreciate you guys. Later.